Hi friends, Mrs. Harris here. Today we are going to create a happy city and our inspiration is going to be an artist named James Rizzi. Our I can statement is, I can create buildings with and without a raise using James Rizzi's style as an inspiration to give each building its own personality within my happy city. James Rizzi was born in 1950 in New York City. He is best known for the recreation of his cities with an anthropomorphic style, which means giving them human characteristics through the faces that he put on each building, unique and different. Two artists who influenced James's work greatly were Picasso and Paul Clay. You can see similarities with the flat colors, the outlines of both of these famous artists. One of his greatest achievements happened in 1996 when he was commissioned to create the poster for the Olympics that took place in Atlanta, Georgia. Now that we know a little bit about who James Rizzi is, let's look at some of the characteristics or features within his artwork. First, I want to look at the faces. These are some examples of the faces within his happy cities. And again, our cities are going to be happy. Notice how unique each face is. Try to mix up the eyes. Don't make them all the same. Make each building its own. Give it that personality like James Rizzi would. Even add fun features up in the sky. A UFO, a sun, a moon, stars. Take time and look at his artwork. See what he's got. Draw your buildings, make them busy. All right, you can see I'm working on my James Rizzi drawing. I'm using a pencil. Once I get all done, then I'm definitely gonna switch over to black marker because if you remember when I was talking about him, I told you that he outlines everything with black marker and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and start to do just on this one building. For the sake of time, I'm going to do this quickly. Now I'm gonna to begin to add color to the Rizzi drawing that I've created. I'm just gonna do this one building. Yes, the whole building should be done, the whole drawing should be done before I black marker, but for time's sake, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. You can use markers or crayons. Remember, we're creating bright, flat colors. Each building is gonna to need to have a face on it because that's what he would do. The artwork should be very busy. There shouldn't be a lot of empty or negative space. And what I'm looking for when you guys add colors, I'm looking for that bold color. So I'm gonna start with the windows and I'm gonna outline it with this marker. I'm gonna just go around the inside of my window, taking my time with the marker. Again, if you don't have markers, you could do this with a crayon. You would just press a little bit harder. And then when I go on the inside, I'm gonna lightly use a crayon to add color in there. I don't want it to appear white. I want it to appear like there's color in there, but notice how the outline really helps to make the image pop a little bit. And again, he is all about flat colors and colors being bright and bold. So try to pick some really bright colors. When I go to do the lips, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna outline it in this pink, and then I'm going to take this crayon and I'm going to do a nice same pressure throughout the entire coloring process, keeping it the same so that it doesn't get darker on one side and lighter on the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the building now. And there you have it. You can see how I've got nice flat colors. I've got bold, bright colors. Again, take your time when you're coloring. I went several different directions, but you really can't see that when my coloring, and I wanna make sure yours looks that way. Just have fun with this. Take your time. Do not color first and then try to go back and add the marker because it won't work because the crayon has wax in it. You can choose to color things in. You can choose to outline them with the marker first. If you want to, you don't have to. Maybe I'll just choose to do the crayon outline on this one. Again, mix up your different styles. Have fun with this. Make this fun. Again, have fun up in the sky. Add UFOs, add things. Nothing will be left white. You can leave the eyes white. Maybe here and there, a couple buildings, but not a lot. I really wouldn't leave a lot white. 